Alright, how you doing? What's your name? Troy Favre. Alright, what class did you take with us? Uh, I took the one week security course and the 34 state concealed weapons course. Alright, did you enjoy everything? Yes, I did. Alright, what was the best part of it for you? Uh, getting refresher courses on things I've had in the past. It's been a while. Um, basically, be able to carry a concealed weapon in 34 states. Tell everybody, uh, tell everybody what your previous experience is. Uh, I'm a riot and strike officer. I travel all over the United States protecting people that go out on strike that cause riots. Previous experience? Previous. Right. Law enforcement experience? Law enforcement? Uh, I was NOPD, um, Louisiana Superdome Police. Um, I did truancy. Uh, worked in the school system. So being, I mean, with the law enforcement experience, do you still feel like you got something out of the training? Yes, I did. All right. I've learned things differently from what I learned in the past. Okay, and if you had to give us any advice on changing anything or making things better, what would you tell us? I wouldn't change nothing because you guys made me feel comfortable and at home. So if I didn't feel comfortable, I would have dropped out of the class, me being the only female in class. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you, man. Hey, how you doing? Say your name for the camera. All right, my name is Duwan Muhammad. All right, hey, tell us what course you took with us. I took the 40-hour course for firearm training, taser, pepper spray, and baton. All right, tell everybody how you, what you thought about it. I thought the class was great. I had the opportunity to be taught in detail how to use pepper spray, baton, the taser, and my firearms. And I think I got the ability to go on and do a great job. All right, something pretty special about you, too. Uh, you said you had never touched a firearm until you came here, right? That's correct. It's my first time ever touching a firearm and firing one. All right, how do you think you, are you, are you I don't know, just kind of tell everybody how do you feel. Um, at first, with I the was firearm a little now. shaky about it, but now I think I, 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 I got it down. I'm more comfortable and confident in myself about using at least a 9mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> what was the best experience of the Academy for you? Best was firing, firing a firearm. That's something that I never done and something I wanted to do. So that was great to, to actually have the opportunity to do it. All righty. Um, anything you would have I would us recommend, change? I wouldn't change anything unless I, I can change not getting tasered. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> everything else was great, and I recommend this class for anyone that's trying to get these certificates. All right, well, thank All right sir, you. name for the camera. Kevin. Okay, okay Kevin. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody uh, uh, if you enjoyed the Academy. If so, what was the best part of it for you? Uh, I enjoyed the Academy. I would say the best part would be the legal responsibilities we have as a security guard. And that's just because I've been living overseas. And security work over there is different. It's based on the SOFA status rather than you're actually applying stateside laws when you work as a security guard here. So I found that very useful. What other class did you take with us? I took the one week security guard class which included the taser uh, class, handcuffing, and the baton usage. Alrighty. Uh, any advice you would give us for the future and make any changes or make things better? Yeah, I'll give a couple of advices. One would be uh, less interruptions. Okay. Uh, I think because this is an important position as far as being security that people need to have a serious mind. You might want to get a uh, outside line so you have less interruptions with the phone. Right. And uh, be more disciplined, like try to get the mentality of security. Right. You know, as far as, I mean, this was a great class. It was a lot of information. Um, but. I think for a lot of people who's not used to the security field, they need to exactly know what they're getting into. This isn't a Paul Blart type of thing where you know you're riding around. You're talking about being responsible for not only other people's property but their lives. So that that would be the only things that I would change. All right, we I, I did cut up. I'm not gonna lie. I did cut up. I, I'm not because she's over there whispering. <laughs> I cut up. I acted a fool. You know, at moments where we we were able to act a fool. You know, and maybe I did disrupt the class, so sorry. I take acknowledgement, but best believe if I was corrected, it wouldn't happen anymore. So, all right, you know. I appreciate it, sir. All right, stage name for the camera, sir. Ronnie Sapp. 
All right, you state your experience for the people so they'll know who you were and what you were. Uh, I was a police officer for five years with Cow County Police Department. All right, why, why did you uh, choose to come take some training down here with us? Um, I got out of that field trying to get back into some aspect of law enforcement. I decided to go with armed security. Um, I actually was uh, referred by the security company that I'm trying to get on with. I was referred to you, to Instructor Turner. All right, tell us the uh, best parts of it for you, even as a police officer. Um, me personally, I really enjoyed the the one-on-one -on -one aspect, you know, because in the academy there was a lot of people, and it wasn't really that much time one-on-one. -on -one. And I actually learned some things from Instructor Turner that I didn't learn in the academy. And I went through lots of instructors in the past. And he is a good instructor. All right, and things that you would change if you had to change anything on a serious note. Really, there's not much of anything there is to change. Everything went through smooth, the week went through smooth. Um, I really enjoyed my classmates, I enjoyed my instructor. Everything was pretty good. All right, if somebody's on the fence, they, they're deciding whether they want to come or not, but they're sitting here watching this video, what would you tell them to give them that extra push to come on out? Well, like I said before, you get one, one hands-on, you know, you get a lot of time. It's not like there's not, not time that you can't actually spend with Instructor Turner. He will take to the side and help you if you need that. You can go online and look at other places. And I guarantee you, you're not going to find anybody, you know, for the price and the quality that you'll get out of the life public safety training. All right, we really appreciate it, sir. And thank All you. right, stay down for the camera, sir. My name is Mark Shapiro. All right. Um, tell us a little bit about how you um, how you came about the academy and and things that you liked about the academy. Well, uh, I learned about the academy through attending uh, a workshop over the weekend on executive protection with Mr. Turner. Um, I also saw his advertisement on Craigslist, and that's what reminded me that he was doing it. So I figured I would sign up because I was looking to make security and. Uh, specifically armed security, uh, a better part of my career. So I figured he was the man to go to for that. All right, so you did take a class with me. So what <clears throat> pushed you over the edge to say, hey, I, I think that I would want to take this guy's class versus somebody else's? Well, I understand that there's a lot of licensing the state needs and uh, a lot of requirements. You know, you have to have instructors that are certified by various people if you want to have the credentials to be hired on with good companies. And Stephen has all the uh, all the credentials he needs to be an instructor for that. So why would I go with anybody else? All right. So, but what was was there anything extra that took you uh, to say, hey, I didn't <clears throat> to go to somebody else versus him? Like when we took the class together, um, obviously you didn't know me before the class. But once we was finished, um, you were prepared to take um, the security course. So what 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 just, did it for just you? Just a function of his character, function of your character. You know, it was. Uh, the fact that you know I had a chance to interact with you beforehand, so I knew you were a person who was trustworthy, you know, who was a good person to learn from. You're very knowledgeable, and uh, you know it was a no-brainer for me, really. All right, what was the best part you got out of the uh, training? Best part I got out of the training was a better understanding of the law. Um, Stephen Turner is very good at keeping an eye on what the legalities are and what you need to do to be able to do your job in accordance with those laws. So that was good for me. All right, anything you would change, sir, being very honest? Not particularly. It was a good class. It was a little long, though, so make sure you have your calendar clear. All right. We appreciate it. Is there anything you would say to the person who's looking at this video who's undecided right now, uh, whether they should go to somebody else or come here? They should absolutely come here. Uh, Turner's among the best and the class is absolutely critical for anybody who wants to get involved in the security field. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you.